We can not only map the methods to a functional interfaces, but also constructors. You are going to do just that in this lecture. Start by creating a new sub package, new package at the end of it, add constructors, finish. Right click, start by creating a new class, call it my class. This class will have one string field, private string s. Define a constructor because we are going to do constructor mapping later on. This constructor to, should take a string s to initialize the field here. This dot s is equal to s. And also display the value of s is out within double quotes inside the constructor colon space plus s save it the next step is to create a functional interface so create an interface call it my interface finish this interface will have only one method that will return an instance of this class my class is the return type get is the method and it takes a string so that this object can be initialized with whatever value that is passed in. Save it. Create a test class, new class test with a main method. First, we'll express this functional interface using lambda expressions. Control D. My interface F1 is equal to S because it expects a string. This method here takes a string. The name could be anything. Instead of S, you can use another alphabet as well. New, it needs to return an instance of my class and pass in S. So we have expressed a lambda expression wherein it is returning an instance of my class. Invoke that method f1 dot get pass in the string using lambdas semicolon at the end save it run the program run as java application and the output is inside the constructor and the string that gets passed to it is using lambdas we are printing this in the constructor right here this is where the output is coming from. Next, let's see how to do this using constructor mapping. It's very simple. My interface F2 is equal to, instead of using the class name or an instance of that particular class for constructor mapping, we just use the class name, but not the method name. My class double colon, instead of using the constructor name, my class, we will use the operator new. That will automatically map the constructor to the get method. The rule still is that whatever argument is being passed to this get method should be the same as the constructor's argument. Otherwise, it won't work. So go back f2 dot get within double quotes using constructor mapping. So this is the second way to instantiate and return an object from a method of a functional interface. Run the program again. And the output is inside the constructor using lambdas, inside the constructor using constructor mapping. So in this lecture, you have learned the syntax for mapping the constructors when a functional interface is returning an instance of a particular class. You can directly map it to a constructor using the new keyword and the class name.